I'm trying to get Max to shave his fucking beard. So let's take a fucking community vote. No. I really he don't has had a beard for years at this point. He's had long hair for years at this point. His mother and I are sick of it. Okay, <laughs> we need your help. Please talk some sense into him. <laughs> Last thing that I want to talk about is Tom and Giselle. I don't have that much to say about it because I barely uh, even know who they are because I don't like football. How do you not know who Tom Brady is? I mean, I know that he plays football. I don't know what for team. I don't know what position. Well, he's probably quarterback, right? Yeah. Yeah. Quarterback, and then I don't know who he plays for. But he lives in Florida now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, he plays in Florida, yeah. I said, I read yeah. something on, I mean, I'm in Florida Facebook groups because we've thought about moving there before. So I still kind of like see notifications and there was this funny meme that came up about Tom living in Florida and like whatever, I forget what it was. But yeah, they're getting a divorce and uh, nah, reports, word on the street reports. is... It's not official. Okay. Allegedly. They both hired divorce attorneys. So Allegedly. writing's on the fucking wall that they're probably getting Well, divorced. it's been on for a while though. It's been a, a whatever. kind of a saga. Okay, so basically I think the story is correct me if I'm wrong, people, that Giselle was a ride or die throughout his whole career and then finally said, enough is enough, it's time to retire, hang it up. And he said, okay, okay, I'm going to do it. And they said, actually, psych, I'm not going to do it. She said, well, I'm done. Well, he's done, it, he's done it twice, I think. I'm done being like along for this ride because uh, I want you to spend more time with your family and I'm out. And honestly, I say good for you, Giselle. Like, Enough is enough, Tom. Fucking retire. You have a terrible... This is what... my Intuitively, this is what I'm going to say. Tom, you have a terrible football hangover. It's time to let it go. Move on. Start broadcasting. I don't know. Build a farm. Raise some chickens. Do something different. But your football stuff, just let it go. Because now what's going to happen is this. You're not going to go out on top. Okay? You had a chance to go out on top with a big Super Bowl ring, I believe. And instead of going out on top, and doing the walk-off home run like you could have done, now you're going to go out with a big fat injury. Mark my words. It's going to end his career. What do you think? Yeah. I, I See, I have to watch football too but it's, now. I mean, well, that, cause it has nothing to do with football. It's nothing to do with it. It's hard to walk away. It's like being in a casino and being up 500 bucks. And you're like, hey, if I can just win this one more hand, right? One more, one more. It's a mentality that everyone has, right? And it's just interesting to see it play out on his level because he's – really it's I mean, sad. most people don't play that long so like it's a very unique like most people don't get put in as a first like a second have the starter get hurt and you get put on and have this like 20 some year career i don't know how forget how old he is and have the success that he's had so he's in rarefied air like that's one and to marry like the world's top supermodel and have three she really is so gorgeous and like i mean Her the whole thing is, is like amazing it's kind of never added up <laughs> you know what i mean and like he's very attractive. Though. Oh no no! I'm I'm just saying like like something's got to give right. Like like this story is like he's like the golden boy, right? He's forty five years yeah. old. He's got good doctors though too. Um, well yeah, I mean I'm sure he's got all kinds of treatments that us normal folk don't have access to. Yeah, my main knock on Thomas he put, took PPP money. I'll never respect him after that move. PPP money. Yeah, the For COVID? COVID money. Yeah, yeah. Oh my fucking yeah. god! Never Tom. Um, but that outside of that, crazy. I think, I mean, he's obviously a great quarterback. Um, he took PPP money for what? Yeah, who knows? He took a big loan. I, I made like one of my very he few He had to give that back, that. right? I don't know. Um, yeah, he's just, I mean, so like I thought a couple things and I saw this, like one, people don't realize how much time away from their families these athletes and coaches spend. Like you, it's something you're marrying into and that is a trade that you're making with a spouse. It's like being a military. Like I'm just saying not the same thing, but like, that's their job. Their job is they're going to be gone for a long time. And that's something you have to have to deal with. And he's missed a massive chunk of his children's life. Yeah. And that he will never get back. And that time, you know, but I think it's a trade-off that he makes, right? Like, so, you know, I think that, you know, it sounds like there might have been some mechanism where that trade-off got out of whack. And... Well, I mean, clearly it did because he, he's retired twice. Well, he's retired twice, I think, at this point. So, um, you know, he can't really let it go. Uh, and I understand that piece of it because that's a very that's who he is as a person. Like, it's hard to separate. That's you know, how everyone knows him. Like, he doesn't have any other identity. Um, and to me, that's always what kind of made him seem a little douchey. Like, it's like, yeah, we get it. You love winning, but like, fuck you. Who doesn't? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like, oh, wow. Like, he's got some secret. It's like, no, he's just really good. He's like, cares. He's very good. 
got lucky like also like it's like yeah i don't know i i just never looked up to anybody at these levels so, like kind of like that to be. i'm trying to look up is their uh, net worth because oh, i think giselle well. is actually worth more than him uh maybe she's worth 400 million <laughs> well she's the i mean it, she's just not a supermodel she was the highest paid supermodel tom brady's worth okay years. tom brady's worth 250 yeah. 250 million giselle's worth 400 million fuck i wouldn't stay either I'm not getting your time, attention. I don't need your fucking money or security. I'm out. My kids deserve better. You know what I'm saying? 12, 15, 12, and 9, and you haven't been around their whole life? Well, I mean, he's been around. I think that he's, you just you just can't. Like, that's you said a, they're never home. Well, I'm just saying it's you're working a lot. Like It's not a job that like you get home at 6 or 5, and you're the like, thing is, oh, I understand I if it's like you need to do it, but like you don't need to do it. Anymore. But he hasn't needed to do. You've it had in a, a long full time. football career. Like, I don't know. I I know nothing about him. I'm just yeah. judging him based off of nothing. But legacy is worth opinion. more than money at that point. Like for those guys. Like, but like, who cares? You care more about what the world thinks about you than like what your kids think about you when they grow up. Because like you're three years away from having an adult child. So. Well, I think a lot of these know. things are like like deeply rooted in some level of insecurity <laughs> about like who you are as All a right. person. Here's my uh, prediction, though. Oh, okay. This is the prediction I've been saving. My prediction is, PR prediction, that in the next 12 months, you're going to see Tom Brady and Kim Kardashian go on at least one date. What? What do you think? I think it'll be a PR move. I think they'll do it. I think they'll do it. What makes you say that? I don't know. Just a feeling. Wait, isn't she dating someone? No, she's single. She says she's not dating anyone forever. Blah, 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 uh, okay. Blah, whatever. Her kids, their kids would be fucked. I think Tom's kids might have a chance. I think they both have a chance, honestly. I mean, the thing is, I think Kim's oldest, North or whatever, seems like she's a lot like Kanye. With like, she's like very eclectic. But I worry like, does she have the same sort of like mind that he has? You know, because like, that is he he's actually bipolar he has a run of the family and my dad was bipolar so no judgment but like you know that's a little bit like i hope she has like the support if that is the case but i think they all have like a shot yep tom's kids probably have a better shot yeah because they're just not famous like kim's kids are like famous already they have their own tv show like tom's kids i don't even know who they are what they look like I've never yeah they were before. on uh, but i know like what kim's kids look like and i'm not even a kim fan yeah you know? they were on they got a lot of pub though because they did a facebook watch thing a couple years ago and his kids were a lot of front and center he actually people made fun of him in a lot of memes because he was kissing his grown son on the mouth and like i was like dude that's not gay like, people were like making fun of him like i kiss my dad on the i've always i kiss my kids on the mouth like it's just so funny to see other people see your life it's like funny thing about like you're talking about oh the eight-year-old with a bipolar dad it's I like i think i kiss my dad on the mouth but it's like I'm a it's, girl, it's, people see it and they're like oh that's gay or whatever they said like well i forgot what the memes were but i'm like dude i kiss my like i to this day still I kiss, kiss my, my dad kids on the mouth. mouth yeah i kiss my kids i kiss kids on the mouth every morning and leo every morning before they go like at school like I just never been weird to me, yeah. but it's funny of people with different relationships and like just being able to like see it like, um, yeah, well, yeah. I don't know Kim K and Tom. That's a tough match. There's this thing going on Twitter that's like, did you grow up with a naked mom or a not naked mom? And those of you that grew up with a naked mom knows exactly what I mean by that. Not like a se- in a sexual way, yeah. but like, was your mom the naked mom or was she like not the naked mom? What was your mom? Naked mom? My mom was a naked mom. Oh, really? I was probably half and half. I would Big say leaning s- towards little not tiny naked. saggy boobs everywhere. Yours were not. I, I, mean, I picture your mom not as a well. Naked I would mom. say like half and half. I wish I wouldn't. If I had a gun to my head, I'd choose the not naked mom. Yeah. But I'd like, yeah, you're definitely the naked mom. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely the naked dad. My dad was more of a naked dad. I was the naked. My dad, dad was not a naked dad. Yeah. I mean, I remember oh, one you're time. You're a girl though, so I guess it's I tried. Different. I my dad was in the bathroom, and I tried to like go into the bathroom because like I didn't even think anything of it, and he was like holding the door shut with his foot while he was taking a piss in the toilet, and I was just like so kind of like, why is the door opening? <laughs> I'm like, Dad, the door won't open. And he's like, hold on. And like, you're like being like, like would not let me see him naked, you know, like ever. Not one time in my whole life. I don't, I don't even, well, I know what his penis looks like because he did take pictures. And when he died, I found those pictures and I'm like, whoa, finally saw your penis. But <laughs> <laughs> finally, Jesus, that's a weird word to Never use. saw it when he was alive oh. or in real life. Did you have a naked mom or a not naked mom? 
Bree did not have a naked mom. Did you have a naked dad? I feel like my dad was always like shirtless, but I like never saw my dad's penis. Yeah. yeah. That's what I mean by like yeah. naked dad, like shirtless. Yeah, I mean like, yeah. Like getting ready, like cologne on, like in his underwear. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, underwear. You had an underwear dad, yeah. yeah. underwear dad. That's right. Better than naked mom. Yeah. That's, That's interesting. Funny. I showered in my parents' room for my entire childhood. You still do. Uh, I was the naked kid. He, I would walk. I would, he's the I, naked adult. Okay. Yeah, I'm the naked adult. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. looking back, that's kind of weird. You're the naked dad. I mean, you're naked more than I'm naked, I feel like. Oh, no, you're naked often. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're... Because you're always, like, changing out of stuff. Like, you're, like, cycling through, like, six outfits or something. Like, seeing, like, you're wearing this. I'm like, oh, you ready to go? And now you're wearing something else. So, like, you're that's constantly true. in between outfits. I do wear a couple outfits Or spray tanning or, like, whatever it is. Like, I'm just, like... I'll put the one thing on and just wear it for a couple of days. And then for like five days. <laughs> two days. Also, more. like you're you're more of a naked mom if you shower daily. You know, he's not more of a naked dad because he showers once a week. So there's a difference there. Yeah, you know, showering's what I mean? overrated. I'm trying to get Max to shave his fucking beard. So let's take a fucking community vote. No, I really he don't. He has had shave a beard for years it's... at this point. He's had long hair for years at this point. His mother and I are sick of it. Okay, we need your help. <laughs> Please talk some sense into him. Like, just give us two months of shorter hair and no beard at all. Like, please. Like, I'll do anything. Like, look, like, zoom in on his face right now, Nico. No, don't zoom in. Zoom don't in on his face. Yeah, his upper mustache is literally touching his lower I mean, it's lips. a little long right start, now. Start chewing. Show him how you chew on it. I don't Max. chew on it. Show him how you chew on your mustache <laughs> on the top. Show him. This is rude. But like, just this is what I deal with every day. Like, we should show it's the people. It's not always this long. They need to have the full picture to give their true opinion. Okay. And he like rubs his like the bottom of his beard like on yeah, his shoulders do, like, from side shoulder. to side. And then he does this thing. Like, what is that? It's like the scoop and tuck. I don't the know. Like the whole tuck. thing is just. I need Jesus. a break. I just need a break. You know what I mean? It's like, can you? What kind of a mustache? I mean, I will take a mustache over what I have right now. This is out of fucking control. And I thought we agreed where he was going to keep it groomed and every week he was going to groom it. I did. I've just been really and busy. He doesn't, October. he doesn't keep up with no, it. No, I do. It's just October. It's been Your a really, really big Your hair is so month. fucking long. Like, it's so long and out of control. Like, if you're going to have it this long, you need to start straightening it because <laughs> you have to start actually styling it and taking care of it. Going to dry bar every week or whatever. By the way, I'm thinking about going to dry bar today. Like, I don't want to wash my hair tonight. I'm like, let's just go to a dry bar. Haven't been in a long time. You should go. Yeah. I'm thinking about it. If I can fit it in. I have a spray tan today, too. That's why I'm wearing long sleeves, because mm. I hate my skin super white. Tough. It's really white right now. Tough. Yeah. You wouldn't know about that. No, I don't. Not everyone can have skin like you. Cool. That was fun. Yeah. That's good. All right. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. Thanks. We will see you next time. <laughs>